right? <laughs> Stacy Johnson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. If she says community five times here, I'm literally gonna punch myself in the face. Billions of dollars more now going into our community banks because they're in the community and then they know who's in the community and where the, the town the is and who's doing good mm -hmm. in the community, what the community wants. Mm -hmm. uh, and so part of- Phil Connors, man. There's two men that know exactly what's happening. They can't even look at her. Talk about your economy, that was an overreaction. What kind of accent will it be? Hey, what kind of accent is Kamala Harris gonna have today? She's speaking with black men. Emotional damage. So what kind of accent do you think she'll have? Will it be A, her Hispanic accent when she said, I love you, but I love you. Will it be her black accent? Or will it be her everyday white accent? <gasps> Let's find out. I want to hear it. You need to hear it. Let's hear it. Friends, my best friend from kindergarten is still one of my best friends. Love it. That's crazy. Friends, my best friend from kindergarten is still mm -hmm. one of my best friends. Love it. Yeah. That's crazy. Right? <laughs> Stacey, Stacey, Stacey Johnson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. We used to go to the clubs and her mm -hmm. father Seville. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we used to go to the clubs. Friends, my best friend from kindergarten is still one of my best friends. My best friend. Okay. My best friend from kindergarten, uh, go to the clubs. What happened to you guys, huh? Look at you. You know what she's doing. And you look down in, in the dumps about it. Here's two men that know exactly what's happening. They can't even look at her. They're like, ugh, why did you talk like that? Right? <laughs> Stacey Johnson. Yeah. yeah, and look at that laugh right there is one of my favorite laughs. That's a laugh of, I think you're lying, but uh, I don't know how to cut the tension right now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, wait, are you for real? You been for real right now? <laughs> you Is that for real? Okay, let's... <laughs> Friends, my best friend from kindergarten is still one of my best friends. Mm. That's crazy. That's crazy. Right? <laughs> Stacey Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah Stacey Johnson. Is that how you always talk? <laughs> you always be talking like that? You always talking like that? I love it. We used to go to the clubs and her mm -hmm. father Seville. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in kindergarten, we used to go to the clubs. Oh, I bet you were in the club with Montel Williams. <laughs> we used to go to the clubs with Montel. And then in the same podcast, she gets asked my favorite question. Hey, man, food prices are up. Inflation is high. People can't afford homes. People are struggling to survive. How are you going to fix the economy? And I swear my life, I'm going to absolutely lose my, you know what? If you start talking about how you grew up in a middle class suburb, I will literally lose it. Ah, oh, going from a show to a whole entire company. What is your kind of your economic That's plan funny. moving forward? Yeah, what's your economic plan? Are, living paycheck to paycheck yeah. and, and struggling for groceries and, and, and rent and, and yeah. homeowners. Yeah. So look, I grew up, so my, my sister and I were raised by our mother. We lived for a long time. Um, I told you I was gonna lose it. Talk about your economy, <laughs> <God. laughs> Uh, how does even on podcasts like how do you not just call this out and be like hey we've heard you like we've heard you say this like a hundred times like no one needs to hear this same rhetoric Kamala ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> love her ebonic dialect yeah me too it's just just say something different you know act like a human only robots have the same answer to every single question. Only robots have the same answer. Uh, okay, let's hear it anyways. I love these two guys too as they ask this question. Look, hands between their 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 uh, hands between their legs in a posture of sub submitting and vulnerability and 
uh, insecurity and like, I don't even know why I'm doing this podcast. I'm a, I know the community is not excited about, they're both doing it. That is not a posture of power. That is a posture of, I'm ashamed of what's happening. I'm ashamed of who I am and who I've become. Shout out to these guys. It's not every day you sell your soul. <laughs> America rocks. <laughs> okay. As long as it's for money, it's all that matters. <laughs> and, and, and rent and, and homeowners. So, look, I grew up, so my, my sister and I were raised by our mother. We lived for a long time on, in an apartment really? on top of a, a, long a time. child care center. Wow, that, that connects That child care center was actually owned by... Yeah. A woman who lived two doors down from us, and Mrs. Shelton, who was oh, I love Miss Shelton. By all of our accounts yeah, and feelings, our second mother. She helped raise us. Yeah, she's called the help. Oh, you ain't supposed to say that. I grew up so poor, we had somebody to take care of us, Mrs. Shelton. Hey, Miss Shelton and Kamala, we've seen your neighborhood you grew up in. It's bigger than it could probably fit. My houses I've lived in could probably fit multiple times within the house that you've lived in. But yeah, tell me about how you know about the struggle. You know what it's like struggling for those bills. You know what it's like worrying about, can I even afford <laughs> my phone bill this month? Because <laughs> I know T-Mobile is going to be hitting me up. My bad, T-Mobile. I didn't, I didn't know about those extra data fees. I just, I didn't know that. But tell me about the struggle. I love it. She's connecting with me. She, she feels my own pain. And this is her. Um, and most of the time when people try to empathize with you, they'll say the same story they've said a hundred times. That's just factually true. Anytime it's like you have a bad thing going on in your life, you're like, let me tell you a story about me. And I know I'm worth bi- millions of dollars. But I'm going to tell you a time in my life. <laughs> okay, go. Of our accounts you and can feel feelings, the cringe. our second mother. <laughs> yeah. She helped raise us. Mm. And so she was a small business owner. <gasps> really? So I'll start with the small business and congratulations on what you, you guys Thank done. You. I, from a child. What? We're, I don't call podcasts small businesses. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, podcasters. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm employing people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, even they're ashamed of it. They're like, yeah, I guess it is a small business. Keep your head down. You're disgusting. <laughs> You're selling your soul. How much you get paid for this, huh? How much you get paid for this? Thank you. I, from a child, knew who our small business owners are, right? I From mean, a child. Your, your business leaders, but you're also civic leaders. Yeah, when you're a child, do you know about small business? No. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Okay, keep going. If you're business leaders, but you're also civic leaders, you take seriously mm. your yes. voice yes. in yes. how you can mentor, how you can grow, no. right? Communities and no. the sense of communities. No, I'm trying to get that I money. love our small businesses. Me and too. so a lot of my work in terms of building and growing the economy has focused on small businesses. Thank you. Um, and, and my vision overall is Tell we need us. to build an opportunity economy. Ooh, in there's that word again. She says opportunity economy, and she talks about her growing up in a small business. Shut up. She's genuine. She's real. I'm waiting for that freedom story. Tell us about freedom. She hasn't said that story in a while. I I haven't heard that story on the campaign trail. I wonder if they she finally realized that people don't believe that story, and she's like, all right, switch it up. It's like Joe Biden. She's learned from Joe Biden, you know. Joe Biden is a master storyteller. And uh, she's like, oh, so you can just like make up stuff? He's like, yeah, man, why not? Just make up stuff. These people are too stupid to figure it out, man. I I mean, I don't understand politicians that say the same stuff over and over again. If I ever ran for president or I ran for Congress and you caught me doing cringeworthy narrative talk, I give you permission to find me and punch me in the face. I'm just going to throw it out there. Be like, Derek, what are you doing? 
<laughs> I'm like, yeah, my bad. You're right. You're right. You're right. I should treat people like human beings instead of they haven't heard this clip yet. Like, I just don't understand this idea that people are just so stupid. They can't remember from yesterday. Okay. Opportunity. Opportunity economy. What does that even mean? Democrats are so good at, at labeling things. Healthcare. Abortion is healthcare. I want to create an opportunity economy. You're like, what? An op- uh, what? What? Okay. What? Yeah, that sounds great. What does that mean? It's like the infrastructure bill. Got Biden put in an infrastructure bill. Okay, what did it do? It helped bridges and roads and stuff. What bridges and roads? That's not important right now. <laughs> it was a bill that we could just say these things and get pumped up about it. Um, and and my vision overall is we need to build an opportunity economy in which we increase Thank opportunity Thank for you. all, yes. including small business owners. So Thank you. a lot of my work, even in the Senate, was about increasing access to capital through yeah. our small businesses Good. and in particular through our community banks. Money. Yeah. So I've been responsible for billions of dollars more now going into our Ukraine. community banks because they're in the community and then they know who's in the community and who's where the talent the is and who's doing good mm-hmm. in the community. Okay. If she, if she says community five times here, I'm literally going to punch myself in the face. Okay. If I hear community five times, I don't even know. Community banks. Okay. Wait, they're in the wait, community. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> or billions of dollars more now going into our community banks because they're in the community and then they know who's in the community and where the talent is and who's doing good Mm -hmm. in the community, what the community wants. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so part of my plan as president. I can't, I freaking can't with her. How could you be for that? Oh, everything about her is so cringe. Everything about Kamala is so cringe in the community it's about the community and we have community and if the more you say community you could just say community and the more community is community and if you think about community you can just say community and when i say community i think about opportunity community and when the opportunity community comes opportunities and communities and when you're in the community maybe you have more opportunity think about that okay idiots poor kids are just as bright and just as tall as white kids exactly joe thank you for saying that joe finally somebody has the guts to talk about that